Tonight, investigative reporter Larry Barker presents a case study on how not to spend public money. At issue is a mysterious $50,000 project funded by state lawmakers. The problem? No one seems to know what the money is for or how it will be spent. Were taxpayers taken for a ride? Here's Larry's investigation. It's just something that seems incredible on its face. You should see red flags on this one going up from the very beginning. I don't want people to think that, oh, you know, this is some, you know, ploy to just get money. Commissioner, I don't understand why you won't answer a simple question. It's a gift to taxpayers from the state legislature called Project 1891. Even though it will cost us $50,000, no one is exactly sure just what the project is. In fact, when it comes to Project 1891, public officials did not follow the rules. They broke them. The story begins at the Roundhouse, where lawmakers shell out money for community projects like roads, schools, bridges. It's called capital outlay. You probably know it better as pork. Each year, hundreds of millions of dollars are divvied up equally among all 112 lawmakers. And then, without hearings, debate, or public input, each member is allowed to dole out public money for projects in their district. Among the $800 million allocated for water systems, flood control, and parks, you'll find Project 1891. Sponsored by state reps Mo Maestas and Javier Martinez, it's $50,000 for a Bernalillo County International Heavy Metal Music Mobile Museum. Any project that improves the quality of life, in my opinion, is worth it an investment. New Mexico music has never had a national chart buster, but it is uh, very important to the culture and the people of this state. So to capture that in a museum, I think would be fantastic. Even though lawmakers approve money for the Heavy Metal Music Museum, don't line up to buy tickets just yet. You see, no one bothered to scrutinize their proposal. It's a funded project that has no plans, no design and no budget. How does that happen? Well, that's the $50,000 question. Former radio personality Mike Trujillo came up with the idea for a heavy metal music museum. Seeing that it's going to be an interactive museum, it's going to be, I think, fun, a fun experience for, for youngsters to get to see some of part of the heavy metal history. There'll be some possible artifacts, you know, tickets, you know, uh, drumsticks, t-shirts, whatever, um, as so, so people can see and, and maybe want to contribute to as well. Now, Mike Trujillo does not have money of his own to build a museum, so he sought public funding. His first call was to Bernalillo County Commissioner Adrian Barboa. I had known uh, Commissioner Barboa and I thought I would ask her about this in regards to this project and she said that that would be fine. He was wondering if I would agree that this was a valuable project and um, sort of put it on the county's list. Did he send you a proposal, written proposal, for what he wanted to do? No, I never received a written proposal. Well, a phone conversation was good enough for the commissioner. Two months later, legislators put their seal of approval on a mobile heavy metal music museum. Capital outlay money does come with strings attached. Appropriations must have a public benefit and a public purpose. State money can support nonprofit groups, but never for the benefit of a private person or business. If Commissioner Barboa had done her homework, she would have discovered Mike Trujillo's organization is not licensed, registered, incorporated, or a nonprofit. The commissioner did not ask to see any documentation relating to the museum, such as plans or a budget. Do you have one piece of paper that's showing how the $50,000 is going to be expended? Um, no, I think that this is a startup project. I'm excited to support culture, New Mexican culture, New Mexico music. Based on a phone conversation, commissioner? 
Yeah, based on a history of him, of a local, you know, person that has passion and drive. If anything I've ever learned is that passion and drive gets things done. Now, for the Music Museum to qualify for public funding, Mike Trujillo's organization must be nonprofit. But that's something Commissioner Barboa will not talk about. Commissioner, you're not answering my question. But I'm answering it the way I'm going to answer. All nonprofit funding requests require approval by the full county commission. That did not happen. In fact, because Mike Trujillo does not have a nonprofit, the project does not qualify for public funding. That did not stop county officials from sending its funding request to state lawmakers. Did Mr. Trujillo fill out an application for the capital outlay appropriation? To us, no, he did not. And that's my responsibility. Did the county evaluate Mr. Trujillo's project for viability? No, we did not. And again, I will accept responsibility for that. Bernalillo County's Chief of Staff, Clay Campbell, admits sidestepping protocol because he says the funding request came days before a deadline. Why couldn't the project have waited till next legislature so that the project could be properly evaluated? It could have and it should have, and I accept responsibility for that, Larry. Does it appear that uh, Bernalillo County complied with its own regulations? Well, it was very clear that they didn't. It's something that should have never gotten through their system. Wayne Johnson is a former Bernalillo County commissioner and former state auditor. A heavy metal mobile museum what is the what is the public benefit? That should have been the first question that was asked. You have to be able to draw a direct line between the dollar spent and the benefit to the community, and they didn't do that. Even though the Music Museum does not meet legislative funding criteria, lawmakers appropriated the $50,000 anyway. It's really important for us to use every penny wisely. Otherwise, I think public officials are not doing their jobs. Dee Dee Feldman is a former state senator. This is public money. It is important that these projects be vetted before an appropriation has been made. Otherwise, we are going to be wasting public money. And that is our job as uh, elected officials. Lawmakers voted in March to fund the Music Museum project. However, it's not a done deal. New Mexico's Finance Department must first sign off on the project. Debbie Romero is Cabinet Secretary. We have rules, we have regulations, we have state law, and we have federal law that we have to follow with all of these appropriations. Now, in the case of the Heavy Metal Music Museum, if the individual requesting the appropriation does not have a nonprofit, is that a problem from your perspective? Absolutely. The Department of Finance is now reviewing the Music Museum project. Is there a guiding rule that you use when you expend public money? It's not your money. It's the public's money. And you're there to care for it and make sure it's spent effectively, efficiently, and make sure that it's not misspent. Larry Barker. KRQE News 13.